Good morning, everybody. Today, today is actually July 15th. We are uh, getting these bins put up. The bin crew is here. Remember, the concrete has been done and gone. Um, that turned out very well. And uh, it's going to be a hot 32 degrees Celsius today, so I cannot imagine working with that sheet metal uh, or even inside that other bin, jacking it up and putting those sheets in at those temperatures. Because if it's 32 degrees outside, it's probably about 42 degrees inside at least. So these bins are going to be a uh, 42 foot diameter. That's the size of the pad, 42 feet. And then um, they're going to be 12 rings high. So each ring, right there is a missing ring. So they'll be 12 high. That's how they, that's how they go. And it's going to be around that 55, 56,000 bushels, give or take. So they typically build one bin at a time from what I'm told. But due to wind, apparently, because they're just sitting on jacks, they literally just keep jacking that bin up like this, keep putting the bottom ring on, put the roof together, and then it's just keep working its way up. Um, that bin is not anchored. It's literally just sitting on jacks. So you get any kind of wind, and it can just leave. So obviously you don't want that. Um, so it's very wind sensitive, especially as they keep going up. Um, so right now they're going to put the roof on this one and maybe start bringing this one up. And uh, you got to work with the weather, I guess, is from what I am being told. Let's go take a peek, see? How warm are these things? Pretty warm. Only going to get warmer. Just kind of put that the first uh, lid on a stand and then just start building from there. These are the stairs, spiral staircase, just like it was at home. Again, here's a ring. It's classified as a ring. It's gonna be 12 high. So we got one, two, three, four, five on so far. Let's jump inside. So obviously they gotta hang our cables first. They do that right off the go. Here's their jacks. It's very echoey in here. They just bolt the jack to a ring. It's hydraulic, powered by a generator. I'm sure there's no carbon monoxide. <laughs> That's how I would roll too. And then they just keep going up with it. And then they get a bunch of guys and it's like, brum, 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 you get guys on the outside, guys on the inside, dun, 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 with guns. And it's gotta be horrendously loud, especially on the inside. I would wanna be on the outside, although it is shaded in here. And it's quite a bit cooler. It's quite a bit cooler. Until it's not. And then it's like a sauna. So each one of these cables, I guess I'm gonna have to get clarification. Because they're supposed to be too moisture and temperature. It's supposed to be moisture and temperature. So yeah. It's coming, guys. And then obviously there's a ladder that you can go, you know, as you guys know, you, you guys have seen our bins. So our bins, you're probably wondering, so are these different from our bins back home? Yes, they are. Um, these are a 4212. And uh, our bins back home are a 4809. So 48 foot diameter, nine rings high. Both about the same amount of bushels. I'm just going up. And the reason why I chose these bins is they're actually a little bit cheaper because the concrete's so dang expensive. It's cheaper to go up and get those last few bushels than it is to go out and only go nine ring. And you're like, well, Mike, why are you only going nine ring? Well, at the time, when we first built the original four, nine ring was a thing. They didn't, 12 ring wasn't even a deal yet. It wasn't even a thing called 12 ring. And uh, of course, as soon as we put up the nines shortly after, they're like, oh yeah, we can do 12 rings now. Well, once we have the row, you keep the row. That's how it is. So from this row, if we continue to put more bins, they're all going to be the same size diameter and they're going to be 12 ring high. That's just how it's going to be. 
and back home. As you know, Dad already built four more. And of course, they're 4809s. That's just how the row is. We're, we are far too OCD to have 4809s, 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 4812, 4812, 4809, 4812. No, you can't do that. You gotta keep your row. Once your row's established, you keep your row. <laughs> Vents. We won't walk that way just in case they drop a sheet. Cuts Mike's head off. These are the stiffeners, if you're wondering about those. All the stiffeners are on the outside of the bin. Makes for easy cleanup on the inside of the bin. We used to have bins with stiffeners on the inside, but then that's a pain in the butt when you gotta get in there and clean them up. So just all these bins, they all come on a semi-truck. So it's all palleted, they're all put on pallets and stacks. Let's go take a look at some stacks here. Oh, and I guess as we're walking over here, uh, here's our drags. I do believe these will probably be the last to go in when they assemble the floor. The u -trobs. It Looks like they pretty much, there was a bunch of stuff right over there. I think this is our floor. These are our floor stands, I think. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Some more floor over there. But yeah, it all comes out on a truck. I would sit and visit with the guys, be like, hey, how's it going? And so on and so forth. But uh, you can't hear when they're going zun, 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 zun. And for us to have a communication with them, that means they gotta all stop. And that's not really productive. You can't imagine they really wanna do that. We will check in for a further update. You're probably like, how fast can they build a bin? They can do a bin in a day. Uh, the breeze is picking up here, so I don't know what happens if the wind gets too much. So maybe they just park it here for a little bit, build in the evenings. But uh, I guess we should ask them that. So what happens if it gets too windy? Like, do you just have to shut down then, or what happens if it gets too windy? Do you just have to shut down, or do you just try and build in the wind, or? No, it's too windy. You can't really do much. You just gotta wait it out. Go back, yeah. Yeah, like 30, 30, 35k gusts, I think that's... That's your max? Line, right? Yeah, both. Does it get, uh, as you go up higher with that other bin over there, um, does the wind tolerance come down, down to like 25 kilometer max, or can you build that one up to 35 kilometer max, right to the top? This one? Yeah. I would say probably 30, 35. Yeah, okay, so about that 30, 35. Okay. Well, like, over that is way too much because it's so tall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel it leaning on the jacks one way or another. Yeah, that's what I was doing already before. Oh, was it? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, that that's sucks. The gust, yeah, the gust, yeah. We'll check back here with him in a little bit. I would time lapse one of these bins going up, but uh, I really need my phone. I can't be without it for a full day. <laughs> All right, so still same day, just a little bit later on in the afternoon. In fact, it's late afternoon now. Um, the crew just packed up for the weekend. Uh, it was getting a little, still a little too breezy for them to continue the build on this one, though they put one more ring on and they were still working on this roof over here. Uh, so now there is a bit of a system, as you can see. Uh, Environment Canada does have us out for severe thunderstorm watches. It could turn into a warning, which means it's imminent a little later, who knows. Um, there is a chance that we could get some big thunderstorms today. It's very muggy, humid, it's 30 degrees. Uh, so I don't know how well these puppies are fastened, but here's hoping they're fastened pretty dang good. In fact, let's just take a peek see here. We gotta get going, actually. Uh, I gotta run over to uh, Mooseman area to pick up some stuff. back in oh yeah okay so they did leg their jacks down so the jacks are bolted two bolts and then they lagged them in so the jacks are legged to the concrete obviously if you got a pretty good size wind it would probably still move it but here's hoping that that doesn't happen All right, guys, they'll be back on the start of next week. I don't know if we'll be here next week. I hope so. Hopefully we can continue to watch them go up. Then they will put a false floor in here, a full aeration floor, obviously, just like what we have back home.
catch you next week. And just like that, it's next week. It's Monday. It's about 4 p.m. Uh, we've been spraying sclerotinia in our canola. We're not going to do it all, but we're just doing some of it. And I can see the big crew is back. And uh, there's not much wind today, so they've been putting up this bin. Let's go take a look, see, eh? It's looking good. Oh. Well. We uh, stuck our skinnies on to spray the canola, threw on some crop dividers, and uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna spray it all, but anyway, we did a little bit. Anyways, let's go ahead over here and take a look at this bin. I think they got one ring left. I think there's 11 rings on there right now. It's a 12 ring bin. It's kind of a tall looking bin. Maybe a little, a little taller than I even expected. Let's count the rings. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, yeah. So these stiffeners are gonna go up one more ring. And then we're 12 rings. It's looking awesome. Oh, they're working on the other one. I do. I do. Maybe it's a little too breezy to stick this last ring on. Wow, that's loud. Oh. You know, <laughs> the crew's gone, and uh, some time has definitely gone by, but uh, I was going to hyperlapse a little bit, and I set my phone all up, and I left my phone, and I went to go work on some other stuff, and I came back a while later, and the wind blew my phone over, like, probably, like, three minutes into the hyperlapse, and I'm like, are you kidding me? So anyways, they packed up for the evening, they got the support ring on, and uh, that one still has to go up one more ring. It's supposed to rain tonight. They're, they're calling for maybe half an inch to one inch or 10 to 20 mils. But if that be the case, they won't. these guys won't be back because they can't build in the rain. So I guess it is what it is. And then, of course, I'm taking off for egg in motion, which is long past now because, you know, you guys are a few weeks behind, even though you are catching up. Well, hopefully I'll get some more footage in and build in some bins.